हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सुनंदाज मैथमेटिक्स चैनल लुक एट युअर सेवन स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स टेक्स्ट बुक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर टू मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड डिविजन ऑफ इंटीजर्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन वी जस्ट गो थ्रू रूल्स ऑफ साइंस See, when one number is positive and other is also positive, it is very simple because just we are doing their addition and giving positive sign. These are the rules for addition. When one number is positive and one number is negative, then what to do? Do subtraction and give sign of big number. then the next rule when both numbers are negative which operation you have to carry out do addition but give the same sign which same sign is here negative so just add the given numbers and give them the same sign means negative sign these are rules for signs for addition and subtraction for addition and subtraction same rules similarly for multiplication and division same rules are there now see while multiplication if one number is positive and one number is negative answer of your multiplication is negative while multiplying the numbers when both numbers are negative answer of the multiplication means its product is positive answer of multiplication is called product then same rules for division while dividing the number if one number is positive and one is negative answer of division is negative what is answer of division is called quotient answer of multiplication is product and answer of division is quotient so while dividing the number if one number is positive one number is negative answer of division means its quotient is negative and while dividing the numbers if both numbers are negative quotient is positive means answer of your division is positive so this is the just revision of the rules before starting the lesson now here i explain you some groups of the numbers now see if i ask you to count different thing you are taking support of the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on as these numbers we are using for counting different things they are said to be counting numbers as well as natural numbers and all english numbers are called international numbers sometimes what happen we don't have anything that time we need the number that is very important number that is zero so if we add zero to this group of natural numbers the new group of numbers is formed that is called whole numbers zero is there 1 2 3 4 5 and so on there are infinite numbers now what is mean by integers now you understood natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on one is the least natural number least means smallest if we add zero to natural numbers group we get the new group of the numbers that is called whole numbers now what is mean by integers in integers zero is there all positive numbers are there and all negative numbers are there this group of numbers is called integers what is there in integers zero all positive numbers as well as all negative numbers so in this lesson we are going to study multiplication and division of the integers now i think everyone got it the meaning of integer zero all positive numbers and all negative numbers now let's see here i have taken some example then we start the practice set see here 
I have taken 9 multiplied by negative 4. These are the integers. Integers means 0, all positive numbers and all negative numbers. See, one number is positive here, one is negative. So, as per our rules of science, when one number is positive, one number is negative, answer of the multiplication that is called product is negative only. So, 9 4 are 36 give negative sign. Negative 36. Look at the next example. Negative 8 multiplied by 3. Here also one number is positive, one number is negative. So, answer of the multiplication is also negative. 8 3 are 24 and as one number is negative, sign to your answer is negative, negative 24. Let's see the next example. Negative 12 into negative 2. As per the rule, answer of the multiplication is positive when both numbers are negative. Negative into negative is equal to positive. So, 12 twos are 24 but the answer is positive 24. If you not write the sign then also it is correct because whenever sign is not there, the number is positive only. You can write just 24 or positive 24. Then look at the next example. Negative 9 into negative 7 minus into minus plus. 9 7 are 36. As both numbers have negative sign, the answer is positive. Positive 63. Got it? Can we start practice set? Okay. Now see here, practice set number 8, multiply. Look at the first problem, negative 5 multiplied by negative 7. Negative into negative is equal to positive, 5 7 are 35 minus into minus plus or negative into negative positive. So what is the answer? Positive 35. See the second example, negative 9 into 6, here one number is positive and one is negative, so the answer is negative only, positive into negative is negative, 9, 6 are 54 and as one number is negative here, the sign to your answer is also negative, negative 54, look at the next example, third one. 9 multiplied by negative 4. Here also 1 is positive, 1 is negative. So, answer is negative only. So, 9 4 is 36. As one number is negative, the answer is negative 36. Look at the fourth example. 8 multiplied by negative 7. 8 7 is 56. Positive into negative negative so answer is negative 56 look at the fifth example negative 124 multiplied by negative 1 124 ones are 124 but here negative into negative is positive so answer is positive 124 Here some more examples are there. See here, negative 12 into negative 7, negative into negative positive 12, 7 is 84, positive 84. See the next example, negative 63 multiplied by negative 7, 7 3 is 21, 1 here, 2 goes carry. 7, 6 is 42 plus 2, 44. Negative into negative is positive. Positive 441. Look at the 8th example. Negative 7 into 15. 15, 7 is 105. See how tables are important. So, every time I am telling you, revise the tables. Every day you revise the tables so that you find multiplications and divisions very simple. 15 7 is 105. As one number is negative here, negative into positive is negative. Then next, 
in the practice set only eight examples are there but we have taken more for the practice negative 7 into negative 10 10 7 is 70 minus into minus plus or negative into negative positive if you write the sign then also okay if you not write the sign it is positive only see the next sum minus 5 into 20 again one is positive one is negative 25 is 100 and positive into negative is negative got it rules for sign for multiplication i think so it's clear to everyone how to multiply the integers and how to use rules of signs now we turn towards the division of integers look here practice set 9 look at the first example negative 96 divided by 16 here also one number is positive and one is negative so answer is negative only arrange this problem vertically 96 upon 16 if you learn table of 16 immediately you will get the answer 16 ones are 16 16 six are 96 so answer is negative 6 why negative 6 as per our rules of science one is positive one is negative the quotient is negative quotient means what answer of the division see the second example 98 divided by negative 28 arrange this problem vertically 98 divided by downside means divided by negative 28 observe both the numbers 98 and 28 if you observe the numbers carefully you find that both numbers are present in 14th table 14 twos are 28 14 sevens are 98 so write the answer here 7 upon negative 2 see when only single negative sign is there we can write the fraction by using three different ways you put the negative sign to the numerator as well as denominator otherwise in front of the fraction so this answer 7 upon negative 2 you can write this way also negative 7 upon 2 or negative 7 upon 2 these are the three ways to write the negative fraction you see carefully and apply in while writing the answers now look at the third sum negative 51 divided by 68 arrange the problem vertically negative 51 upon 68 observe the numbers 51 and 68 both numbers you find in 17 table so 17 3 is a 51 17 4 is a 68 so negative 3 upon 4 or you can write 3 upon negative 4 or you can give negative sign before the fraction in front of the fraction negative 3 upon 4 all answers are correct they are same because only single negative sign you can put anywhere to the numerator as well as denominator or in front of the fraction okay look at the next example fourth one 38 divided by negative 57 as usual arrange it vertically 38 divided by negative 57 observe the numbers carefully if you learn the table then only easily you will get the answer both numbers are present in 19th table 19 2s are 38 19 3s are 57 so answer is 2 upon negative 3 or already i have told you three ways to write the negative fraction look at the fifth sum negative 85 divided by 20 when 0 or 5 is there at the unit place of the given number, the number is divisible by 5. So, arrange this vertically 
and divide the number by 5. 5 4 is 20. 5 1 is 5. 3 remain here. 5 7 is 35. So the answer is negative 17 upon 4. If you, if you find divide the number directly, you can roughly do like this. Simple division. 5 1 is 5. 8 minus 5 3. Take next number downside that is 5. You got the number 35 here. And then 5 7 is 35. So the answer is negative 17 upon 4. Look at the next sum. Next division. Negative 150 divided by negative 25. As both numbers are negative, answer of your division means quotient is positive. So arrange it vertically. Negative 150 divided by negative 25. If you learn 25 table, immediately you will get the answer. 25 1 the 25, 25 6 the 150. And as both numbers are negative, the answer is positive. 6 upon 1 means 6 only. 1 is denominator of each and every number. Now see the next sum. 100 divided by 60. You know, 160 both are present in 10 table as well as 20 table. Anyway, you can solve 10 6 is 60. 10 10 is 100. You got here 10 upon 6. But again both are divisible by 2. 2 3 is 6. 2 5 is 10. If you divide by 10, you will get answer by using 2 steps. But if you divide by 20, you will get the direct answer. 20 3 is 60. 25 is 100. The answer is 5 upon 3. See the next sum. 9 divided by negative 54. 9 divided by negative 54. 9 1 is 9. 9 6 is 54. Means 1 upon negative 6. Or negative 1 upon 6. Or negative 1 upon 6. Any way you can write the answer. In the practice set only 8 sums are given. I think so. We will take more. 78 divided by 65. 78 divided by 65. In which table you find 65 and 78? 13. 13 5 are 65. 13 6 are 78. 6 upon 5. As both numbers are positive, your answer is also positive. Look at the 10 sum. Negative 5 divided by negative 315. 5 1 is 5. 5 6 is 30. 1 remain here. 5 3 is 15. So what is the answer? Negative 1 upon negative 63 minus into minus or minus divided by minus plus means positive 1 upon 63. If you find divide directly you can use the simple method. 5, 6 is 30. 1 remain here. Take this 5 downside. 5, 3 is 15. This way you can do the rough work to get the correct answer. I think so. Everyone understood multiplications and divisions of integers. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.